Thanks, Jana. Now we have another woman making history for Women's History Month. Local Nola D, though she has transplanted, is a filmmaker who came back home to produce her latest creation, Diasporan's Hidden Culture Film. And so uh, we got a lot to dive into right there. But thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so you're a filmmaker, also a retired Army veteran, so thank you for your service and all you've done. You're so with that, how did you transplant from being uh, in the service to wanting to be a filmmaker? Well, I think I've always wanted to be something within that industry. That's always been just a drive for me. Even in the military, I remember being stationed in Germany, and we did a couple of plays and things like that for the community in Germany back Chris not. And so that's always been a desire to actually be in the entertainment world to, you know, show something change. I didn't do it for fame. I did it to, I became a filmmaker to chase change. I like it, I like it. So your film is, so I said she's got local ties. You are from here, you've transplanted, traveled the world, but you made this film and what is actually the film about so people can get an understanding? So the film is about what um, African Americans have contributed to the culture of Florida. And why I created this project was because a lot of times through our education system, we don't get certain knowledge, you know, about different cultures, not just African-American culture, but culture as a whole. So I wanted to do my part and come back and film some of the things that I didn't have privy to, to actually learning about the African-American culture when I lived in Jacksonville. And I mean, Jacksonville, St. Augustine, all parts surrounding, the history is so deep. And like you said, it's so diverse and there's a lot of pockets that get missed because, you know, a lot of times the winner rewrites his, writes history in the way they want to. So what did you learn from the aspect of going out and doing it? And you're taking it, you're doing Florida, but you've got some other aspects that you're doing as well. Well, what I took from it and what I learned, I learned how much we contributed to not just Florida, but other surrounding states of America. Jacksonville really put other states on, map, on the map around different entities and culture. So when you look at like New York, there's certain things that Jacksonville has done to bring the music industry, to actually bring different movements came out of Jacksonville. So Jacksonville should have a lot of pride with everything that we do and we've accomplished throughout the years. Sure, and that's why I want to um, continue to film all over America and share those contributions like within Jacksonville so the next generation see what we've done and what we continue to do and give them something to inspire to do and also to want to look forward to being. And also this film is female focused. Yes. So explain that aspect of it. When I say female focus, I am an African American female filmmaker. So I focus on different aspects of what women, but also it's not just female focus. It's it's more of a community focus, but there are a lot of female awesome historians here in Jacksonville. I like it, I like it. So Jacksonville, the film is actually already premiered here, but it's being brought here for a re-screening, two screenings. It's going down April 4th at the Legends Center, and uh, the first screening's at noon, you get there around 11, you kind of sign in, yeah. and the second screening's at 5.30, and there's Q&A after that as well. Yes, so, uh, and so you get to speak to Nola D like we did here. So uh, if people want to find out more, maybe about some of your future films or what you're into, where can they ca contact you? If they go Go to Instagram, D-H-K-U-L-T-U-R-E, that's D-H Culture, or go to the website, www.dhculture.com. Now, even though you're a transplant, she's still local. Yeah. Support your locals, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm glad we got to make this conversation today. So we'll have more River City Live right after this.